Hello everyone, this is、uh, Richard English, 3 Minutes Grammar, and today we are going to talk about some special verbs in English, and they are remember, forget, and stop. And、uh, for the three verbs like remember, forget, and stop, you can follow with 1 to V or 1 VING. To V is infinitive, VING Is generated, okay. So sometimes you have to remember these like grammar terms, so that、uh, you can easily understand how your school teacher teach you this English grammar, okay. Okay, so let's talk about、uh, remember and forget first. And、uh, when you use remember and forget, you can follow with one infinitive, which means to be. And also follow with one, or follow with one, v i n g, which means generic, okay. But、uh, the meanings between the two are different. When you use to be infinitive, that means you remember, or you forget something or some action hasn't been done, okay. And you can also follow with one generic, v i n g. But the meaning should be, you remember or you forget something or some action has been done. Okay, so that's the main point of the two special verbs. Maybe you feel a little bit confused or puzzled. Don't worry. Let's、uh, have a better understanding with some example sentences here. So let's talk about the first sentence. John forgot to bring his homework. Let's see. Forgot to bring. That means John didn't bring, and John forgot it. Okay. Once again, John forgot to bring his homework. Forgot to bring, which means John didn't bring. Also, John forgot it. So that's the reason why he needed to go back home and take it. Okay. So that's clear, right? So that's a little bit clearer for you, right? So let's see sentence number two. John forgot bringing his homework. So let's see forgot bringing, which means John brought his homework. He just forgot it. Once again, John brought his homework. He just forgot it. Okay, so that's the reason why John just took it out of his school bag because he did bring it. He just forgot it. Okay, so let's see、uh, sentence number three. Gina remembered singing a song. Okay, let's see remembered singing here, which means. Gina sang a song, and Gina remembered this action. So Gina did this, and Gina remembered it. Okay. Wow, that's not so easy, right? Okay, so let's continue the second、uh, sentence here. Gina remembered to sing a song. Okay, let's see. Remembered to sing. Gina will sing. A song, but she hasn't sung it now. Okay, that means Gina will sing the song, maybe in three minutes. I don't know, but、uh, she hasn't done this action yet. She hasn't done this action yet, but she remembered to do it. She remembered she needs to do it maybe in three minutes. Okay. So that's the way we use it. Okay, right now let's talk about the verb stop. Okay, and the same stop can also follow with a generic v i n g and also an infinitive to v, but the meanings are slightly different. Okay, so let's see here. When you say stop to v, which means you do this action. Okay, you do nothing but this action. You just stop other actions and do this. Okay, 
That's the meaning of stop to V. And if you use stop VING, if you use stop VING, which means stop doing this, stop doing this action, okay? So the meaning is slightly different between the two usages. Okay, I'll give you some example sentences here. The first one, Ken stopped dancing, which means he didn't dance. He didn't dance anymore at that moment. Okay, he didn't dance anymore. He just stopped this action. Okay, and let's see sentence number two. Ken stopped to dance, which means he stopped other action, but he danced. Okay, he wanted to dance. He wanted to dance. So that's the reason why he stopped other actions, but he danced. Okay, so that's the meaning. Ken stopped to dance. He did nothing but dance. Okay, and hopefully you can learn something from today's lesson. We talk about remember, forget, and stop. And the three special verbs are very important. And if you like today's lesson, please share and subscribe. And see you next time. Bye-bye.